Nick Wrinklesperm, isn't it just charming? She loves it here. She wants to stay forever. I don't want her to stay. She's, <laughs> she's a, a misandrist. She hates men and she's not part of our culture. So we need a room. Do we need a room to heal people? We might. God, droid, use your battery. Oh, we've got this holler droid too we can activate. Simple prosthetics. Oh, batteries. Thank big the Nate. Batteries. Yes. <laughs> Finally. We can store some of this power to keep it for a while. Oh my lord, thank you. I think we're cause because we're kinda cozy here now, we can uh, send someone out on a caravan. I'm honestly curious more about the ambrosia addicted animals than the ancient complex. So I'd like to send a caravan to there. Definitely bring a Muffabella. Look at that carry capacity. Oh Yummy. Might send Dogbone and Ash. Okay, Dogbone and Ash can go. Dogbone is like Muffabella's handler, more or less. Okay, don't bring the Glitter World medicine. You don't need Glitter World medicine. <laughs> Where's the travel? Don't I have travel meals anymore? No. You can bring all the hay if you want. Carnivore, fine meals. Yeah, bring all of them. And go. Okay, they'll go and check out what what drugs these animals are on. Oh, Winklesperm finally had enough materials to make a fur coat for someone. It's a bit late, I think Erst and Frank are leaving today. Yeah, they've got four hours to depart. Oh my goodness, four more hours. What? Some sort of sonic wave swept through the landscape. Your columns are okay, but it seems many of the squirrel in the area have been driving insane. Threat point 600. You are fecked, Frank. Run. Run for your life. There's three squirrels. There's two here. There's one over there on the map. It's just Frank that's outside. Everyone's movement speed is lowered in the... Has he got a gun? Oh, he's got a shitty knife. I never really equipped them with weapons because they were going to leave and I was afraid of them leaving with the weapons. Run, Frank, run. They coming, Frank? He's grabbing the steel. Does the door close? Does the door close? Oh, I got it closed. <laughs> Look at that tactic. I claimed that. I claimed the door so he could get through in time. Oh my god, who's here? Oh, feck, Dogbo. Shoot at it. Okay, run, Dogbo. I don't want him getting hurt before he... Okay. Before he's leaving with the garavan. Did he drop that log? What's this help like? What the shit? Fully scratched him up just for, just for that. Where's Ash? Maybe we can just fight it. Uh, melee attack the squirrel then. <laughs> I don't know why I was running for it. Okay. Back to forming a caravan. You keep chasing. Don't shoot our... You just melee attack him. Get into them. And you don't worry about friendly fire. Just me <laughs> melt Frank. <laughs> Oh, he can't shoot. It's terrible. Got one of them. Frank's just really messed up. Okay, we got the other one. Okay, continue your journey. Um, he's got six hours to live. Dogbone's okay. Stu's out here. Right, come over here a second, Frank. <laughs> he's got six hours to live. He's about to go down. Come over here a second, Stu. Once Frank goes down, you have to stabilize him. <laughs> he's he's bleeding out like really badly but he's not going down all right ash and dogbone are away all the refugees are leaving says she won't forget what you've done okay uh, <laughs> he's bleeding out in five hours i think he's he's got five hours to live and he's just walking away i was gonna heal him when he fell but i can't control him anymore what's this a psychic emitter is it making everyone feel sad Oh my god, he's, he's got negative I butchered human-like. Okay, maybe we can't butcher the... It's only negative, it's only one negative and there's only one mecha droid, so maybe we suspend that one. Where's Kitty going? Playing horseshoes outside. It's like, her stats look really good on Kitty. <laughs> she's fully, she's messed up. Soaking wet. It's chilly, it's also sweaty. How do you, it's just chilly and sweaty. She slept in the heat. I don't know what she wants from me. It's 30 degrees. That is really warm. Yeah, I turn the heaters down a bit. Hey, quest complete. Successfully completed the quest. Hopeless survivors. Nice. No. <laughs> it said I completed the quest. What's Frank doing here still? 
That's because she escaped, wasn't it? Why did he have an animus seed on him? Get that in. That's ours. That's our simple meal as well. <laughs> and he had like 130 steel. No, there was he stealing steel on us? He's trying to steal our steel. Dear God. Well, he's not my responsibility anymore. I'm just going to look over here. At God Droid making some art. It's beautiful. How are the boys doing on the map? Look at them go. After we muffalo. Muffabella. Go, Muffabella, go. He really didn't like butchering the human like. It was against the belief and knowledge of power. Cannibalism is important. I know cannibalism is, but he's not. He's a robot. A robot man. Yeah, what is this? Carving. This carving illustrates the enormous rogue roaring in a victory. Stu stands as tall as a building, shouting triumphantly. The overall composition is dynamic. The scene takes place inside the town built near a mire. This image relates to the raid on Stu's campsite. What? Is this our is this the campsite? We'll install it here. Somewhere. Ah, right there. Beautiful. Okay, our boys have arrived. Let's see what we're up against. Ambrosia addicted eagle owls. What? <laughs> what? Snowy here too. I don't know if they're affected by the snow because they can fly. Ambrosia bushes too. I don't know if these ones plant cut, do they? No, they plant cut. <laughs> okay, Dogbone, why have you got your... Why have you got logs on you? Drop those five logs. Jesus. There's there's an eagle out there, like a normal one. But it's, it's not one of the addicted ones. Right, let's go check out these ones. Steal their ambrosia from them. Look at them. Crack addicts, all of them. Ambro addicts. They might end up just rushing us down, all of them. Oh. Dog one can see one. Get it? Okay. Made them scatter. Okay, they're enemy hunting. It doesn't say man hunting on them. Maybe we can take them. Yeah, take them down one at a time. Did we hit that one? Yeah, we definitely hit that one. That one's coming. Okay, retreat as you shoot. Look at them menacingly walking towards us all. Okay, that LNG is really low accuracy. We'll probably get caught up on here. <laughs> Get them. Come on. <laughs> it's so creepy. Get back. Get back. No. Not the birds. Jesus. They're still coming. Shot that one right in the head, but it's still going. Okay, keep moving. They're not stopping, but we can't stop either. If we can just shoot each of them just a little bit, they'll start bleeding. All we need to do is just keep running around in this <laughs> circle. Oh, we got one. Okay. Get the closest one to you. Get that one. Right in your face. Get the one right in your face. Come on. Get it. That. <laughs> I saw. I looked up and I saw silver wearing the coat. That coat is for the. Is for the people. You don't. You don't get affected by the temperature, silver. That one's getting really. Close. Come on, hit it. Oh, there you go, you hit it twice. These wee Ambrosia addicts. They're coming. It's it. That one's dead. Stand over here. Maybe we can get them just in an open open plane. Hit that one in the liver. What are they doing now? Fleeing. It's got seven hours to live. It's got two hours. It's got five hours. Okay. I think that was a huge success. Okay, harvest them plants. We'll get them to do some plant cutting while we're here. I don't know if we do some butchering too. The eyes are just going down, one by one. His wounds were tended on the journey. It's nice. He's trying to train Muffabella right now. Is this one still coming? Still trying to get Ash? We got batteries. Yoosh. Soy boy. Ooh. Remote doors, monuments. I think soybean. <laughs> First, shoot that all. Shoot that all. There we go. Area safe to reform the caravan. Let me. Let me set up some batteries back at the home base. Oh, look at that! You can get um, <laughs> you can get holder bots to mine if you <laughs> if you say build something here because they want to haul to this area, so they mine it for you. Jesus! All right, build some berries back at the base. Let's get these guys loaded up again. I've chopped some bushes down. Bring back some food for us. Okay, we botched the harvest. <laughs> Classic. There's no other materials here we need. Caravan time. 
I don't know what this is, this psychic emitter. It's emitting an insanity pulse. What, for squirrels? Just squirrels? Let's go to the ancient complex. Bring the ambrosia, but do not eat the ambrosia. <laughs> I don't know if it affects robots, but we'll see. And there it is, our first battery. <laughs> it took so long to get it. Oh my god. Finally we can store power. <laughs> it's a statue. Picture it by debt. On this work is a representation of an empty baseball cap at the edge of the image or a group of bandits. Ooh. Interesting. There's like a faction defense here. I think it's like one of our allies is defending against an enemy attack, but... I mean, if we've got time, we could head over. Or do we have to like go all the way around the mountain to get to it? Not sure. We'll see. And Kitty's on a food binge. God droid. You are the god of social. Calm Kitty down. He successfully calmed her down. Nice. Loot traders arrived. Jesus, this is good. It's one dude with like five, four muffalos. Five muffalos. Imagine he get ambushed. <laughs> I could ambush him. <laughs> no, we're not bad guys. We good guys, sort of. Munchkin cats too. No. Soybean fermentation. Okay. Mushroom mastery. Oh my lord. Plant props. Those aren't. Those are just props. Modern furniture. Smoke pop packs. They might be good. Complex furniture allows for more ergonomic stuff. Might be cool. Okay. I see when ghost sperm is an ergonomic guy. You know. I've just clicked on the trade of him, and I've got like a hundred percent chance to arrest him. <laughs> Is he any good? <laughs> no, I can't come. No, nor a miner. Okay. He's got Psy Trainers, Skill Trainers. Was he just a Loot Trader? Components. Glitter World Medicine. Plasteel. He's got a Psychic Animal Pulsar. Terror Pulsar. Yeah, he's got some organs. Insectoid Leg. Ooh. Stay saying Insanity Lance. Pulse Repeater. Okay. Prestige Gattapract Helmet. I don't know if there's a point in keeping this side trainer for Berserk if we're not side trained. So I'm gonna give it to him and I'll keep the Anima Seed. I don't know where this Glitter World Medicine came from. No idea. I've got plenty of Plasteel and such. Now we just take the money from him. I don't need this stuff at the moment. Maybe Medical Skill Trainer for someone. Because our Medic is our cook. But that's okay for now. Okay, Stu's properly rusted, but it, he has the ability to tend to himself, but I don't think he can uh, get rid of rust. So I need the next best doctor to get rid of the rust from him. Okay, that doesn't bode well. Wingosworm has two. Maybe Wingosworm can try it. Did that work? That did work. Okay, he just needs a bit of more steel. When they're like, when they're facing this way, like it, it, they seem like beds, but this way it's just like a little baby chair or something. <laughs> God droids just sitting there. Ingo go, feed me plasteel. Next thing we definitely need is turrets. If we can get turrets, we can build the, the corridor of death that I was wanting to build. There's a cheese press. <gasps> can I make cheese, please? Oh, we're being raided. Have dropped right on you. They attack immediately. Oh shit. Oh, they're dropping in here? Oh, they're not even gonna... We built all these defenses for nothing. And what are they gonna do? Attack our industrial power generator? The thing we spent ages to make. You got your mono sword ready, Kitty? <laughs> she, she's actually feeling a bit better. Oh, she had a catharsis. Well, now's the perfect time. It's really slow. Oh, God. God, droid, we need you. Get over here, Stu. Yourself as well. Come on. Or silver. Silver. Back to base quickly. I don't know what weapons they would have. Go on. Get that one next. Nice. Uh, I think we go outside and get these ones. Go melee attack him. Let's do. God droid. Back her up. Oh. 
Ash and Dogbone have arrived at the ancient complex. Okay, there that must be the ancient complex there. We'll deal with that in a minute. Let's have them like maybe chop down some bushes. Harvest some bushes, maybe for food. Harvest them bushes. It won't be a moment, guys. We just gotta take care of some uh, problems back home. Go on, Kitty. Get out there. Get him. Melee Humpy. Mel him. Melee Humpy Dumpy. He's retreating back from me. Get out there, help, help Kitty. Oh, Jesus. Get up that way. They destroyed our freaking wind turbine again. Always getting destroyed, so it is. Stu, silver. Stu, shoot this one. It's closer. Shoot him. Get. Oh my god, did you just shock on. Okay, I mean, turn friendly fire on. I'm pretty sure silver just shotgunned. Pump shotgun on the right leg. Silver hits Stu with a shotgun. Nearly blew his leg off, silver. Okay, they're, they're not all. Getting out of here, get out of here. Told you to leave. Charge him down. There you go. Rescue Kitty. Kitty did well. She's just, um, got a bad back, so. <laughs> Flipsig. Collapsed rock, is that from the. They came in through, like, the, the roof of the mountain or something. But again, I don't think any of them survived. Like, the, <laughs> the little holler bots are already cremating them. It's brilliant. Okay, caravan animals wandering. Hold on. Not the shit. Vat grown spider weavers? What have they got on them? Cloth. Beer, neutronoming. Insect jelly. Steel chocolate. That one might be good. I cancel that. I don't think we can mess with those at the moment. They barely wandered in. Like, they, they're right on the edge, ready to just jump out as soon as I come. Yeah, we'll focus on what Ash and Dogbone are doing right now. Okay, guys. Let's go. I don't think... I think we're going to get wrecked. They're at the ancient complex. There's ancient dangers here. I looked over saw the predators on the map and the predators are all these... crazy birds. <laughs> okay, Ash, open up the door. What's that? Ancient comms cancer. Open up this door. Oh! Ancient unstable fuel node has ignited and is it going to explode? No, thank you. Hermetic crate. Um. Okay. Large explosion if damaged. Okay. I don't plan on damaging it. Some chem fuel. What are these? Ancient crates. Okay, there's a lot happening all at once here. Tier 2 androids. <gasps> yes. More. More, more, more. And this psychic emitter affects calmness of the male gender. Okay. So that emitter is just constantly bashing out different wavelengths or something. And it's just making everyone... It did something to the rabbits at first, and now it's doing something to the... ...males. Huh. Get that monosword hold in, urgently. Okay. We'll have to go to that next, then. I just don't want to discover any... ...ancients. Any ancient, uh... ...mechanoids. You know? It's a cam feel as well, it's fine. So there's a room here. I... Oh, okay. Muffabella? This is not a room for you. This is not a room for you. Okay, my favela. This is area two. Go to area two. Do not come in here. Um, what's the temperature? Oh my shit. It's a thousand degrees. A thousand degrees in that room. It's 60 in this room. 74 in here. Minus five outside. I can't go in that room anymore. I'll just try and like... Can I do this? I hack this drop supplies or something? Supplies drop nearby. Okay, pods arrived. What did they contain? Silver? Okay, can I um reform the caravan? Because it's just mental. It's the room's burning down. I can't get to that last room, you know? So take the cam fuel. Um yeah, take the dead round, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> take the silver. So we got cam fuel and silver from that, it's nice. Take all of those fungus that and the herbal medicine. And off we go. Back home. For now. And then we need to go out again. To take out that psychic drone. Because it's just. Doing a number. On Winkle Sperm. Mainly. I don't think the. Robots can haul to. 
the containers. Well, I can do it for most things. The dog bone's fully healed. Oh, he was on the road, yeah. They can put them in these things, but they can't put it in these cabinets. Chopped an awful auto pistol. That thing looks broken. Like, look at it. It looks messed up. <laughs> that is an awful auto pistol. Look at the state of that. Which way is it shoot? Oh, sick. None of them went down, though. They couldn't take their clothes. They all died again. These hauler base units are great. <laughs> so useful. Just going around putting all the wood in and all the blocks places so we can stone cut. Fantastic. Oh, Stu got hit pretty bad. He had initial coolant loss. Oh, because freaking Silver shot him in the leg with a shotgun. I saw him, he just came running out of the door and went BAM! <laughs> Straight at Stu. <laughs> we have been mates for years. Oops, sick. Well, I don't think it's been a year yet, actually. Every time. Every time. It's the robot trader again, though. This could be good. Oh, God, right. Oh, but his health's bad. Can he... Yeah, trade it from anyway. Okay, what have they got? Orcotech fragments and mass. Maybe I can just sell those. What am I getting from them? Another hauler bot. No, I don't think I need anything from them at the moment. Yet again. Maybe your blood steel. Yeah, take your blood steel. Oh god. Well, Gus Barm's having a major break risk. Pippin, where's Silver at? Silver, take that jacket off. <laughs> Give it to Wingle Sperm. Might see the first break of Wingle Sperm. Oh, he's having a beer. Ah, it always calms me down. He's doing it. Ooh, what's that? Mushroom wine? We have some mushroom wine too. Okay, he's back in the minor break risk. As soon as they come back, we're going back out to take out that psychic drone. It just keeps changing what it wants to do. Oh, area revealed. Just another wee tunnel down here. They've been mining in the back all of these silver veins behind our base in the mountain. I'm going to mine out <laughs> this massive area to build like, a, like whatever the religious stuff is so we can try and convert people, make them more... Appreciate robots, give them roles. I didn't know I didn't know how <laughs> important social was to it. And the fact you need a few people a part of it instead of robots. But it's a learning process. Okay, Vanessa from our enemy, the pistol man <laughs> has has arrived. Are the pistol men like the star machinist? Okay. So you're cutting her head. Seven hours left. Wearing a slice cap. Good of animals. Intellect. Oh, she could be another scientist. She's trigger happy. Beautiful. Masochist and a dog person. We gotta get her. We gotta get her. She's perfect. The fact that she she's good intellect. She could research. And she's got good animals. She can help with... She can help with keeping the um, muffalos and the, the robot animals t trained. I'm gonna drop... Yeah, I'm gonna drop their warning down to three... Maybe Kitty's down to four. And try to get Godroid to do it mostly. What's her health like though? Is she, she Six hours? I don't know if she's gonna make it. We grab her. How long does it take to get back to base? And the caravan's back. Welcome back, Ash and Dogbone. Come on, we gotta get her. She has four hours left. I think Stu can tend her normally. With herbal medicine. If he's got any medicine on him. I don't think he's using any medicine. <laughs> he's just going for it. And we want to recruit her. Resistance 11. Will 2.2. We can't convert her because the only person that is part of the faction is Winklesworm. So we'll have to do it a different way some way. Oh yeah, they block my wind turbine every time they land. Oops, sick. Okay. An escaped convict named Sveta is crashing in a transport pod nearby. Sveta is suffering from paralytic abrasions. It will be unable to walk. She recover. Naturally, many days, there's a chance of a lucky, quick recovery. Be cured by special operation, requires a large amount of glitter world medicine. She's willing to contribute when she is recovered, but will not leave voluntarily. If you don't want her, you have to banish her. Can I see what she's like first? Her? <laughs> she's good at mining and construction, being a groundbreaker. She won't fight because she's a card, she's a bit clumsy. And she's a pessimist, so her mood is always low. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. She brought terrible gear with her. We do need a lot of mining and construction, so... <laughs> Welcome, I guess. 
Make a hexism. Okay. Dog bone. Come and rescue Sveta. Ooh, tier two androids. Nice. Nice. Remote doors. Gunpowder. Statues. Gojus. I don't think I need any of this, so I'll go for the lowest one. Remote doors. Okay, I'm gonna mine this area out, hopefully for medical. Zone. I wanted it to be near the front line, so if people get injured, they go straight into here right away, and there should be medicine and all there for them. Goldroid's getting her resistance down really well. <laughs> Vanessa the friendly. We've got so many different religions. Oh, they're from the x and pirates. <gasps> Ooh. You made a poor sculpture now, but a sculpture is a sculpture, right? <laughs> Put it in there. That's a bit of beauty. Oh my goodness. The Book of Knowledge. It's three star difficulty. Book of Knowledge is ancient object revered by all tech nerd. Oh my shit. As I was reading that. Psychic pulse for all protocerat teodai. It's those deer things. But who's this? Oh, Dogbone. Dogbone, no. <laughs> are they all coming right for him? They are. Dogbone, why do you have to be out here? Is that the holler bots over there? Okay, your shooting's terrible. Um, No longer run and gun, just run. Run really fast. He's not going to be able to run really fast. He's going to get caught up with and wrecked. Dogbone, no. Oh, he doesn't have a melee weapon. But no, how do we do it? We can't get him back, he's just gonna... Can you just like, lie on the ground and pretend to be dead, Dogbo? Don't hurt him. Oh my god, they fully kill him! Dogbo, no! <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna kill them, I'm gonna kill them, I swear. No... He was our little hunter, he was gonna be training... He was gonna be training up the muffalo. <laughs> muffalo... We need another sarcophagus. I gotta move the sarcophagus into Sveta. I'm gonna move the sarcophagus into the religious room once it's built. I can't get her to take off her gear, the ones that are tattered. Oh, is she not like fully with me yet because she's got paralytic abasia for 39 days? Maybe. Where is... where's Muffabella? Muffabella's safe watching Wilco Sperm research. There's watching him research over here. Standing on the counters, brilliant. Who's that about to go outside? No, Stu. Caught him just in time. <laughs> oh, are these barricades? Oh, I thought they were... You could walk over them? Okay. If you can't, then there's probably no point in them, is there? <laughs> Here they come, Stu. They're coming for you. They break it down, then they run into a trap, then they break it down. Cancel that. We need some sort of thing that they can get over. But something that will slow them down, too. Okay, there you go. All of them taken care of. Okay, I'll put some bird skin thingies down. Does that we have a visitor? Dragon Slayer? From the from Bertholdt's clan? Dragon Slayer? You come to visit us, have you? How did they activate our little drone boys? Now they're back in action. Go. Oh my god, Muffabella was hit by a trap. Jesus, Muffabella. Let's get an animal bed down or something for her. They sleep in beds. They just power down or something. Why are you going back through again, Muffabella? You're gonna get hit by another trap. Seriously, I need to get. I need to make a zone where it, <laughs> she just stays away from it. Okay, remote doors are done. Uh, soup cooking or a harp? Yeah, uh, yeah, just some soup cooking. Yeah. We've struck Jade. Ooh, Jade, yummy. Yes, please tend the Muffabella. She's needed. She can carry so much. So much stuff. Okay. We need to bury Dogbone. We need to have a wee funeral for him. It didn't last very long. Every time we get someone who's a good hunter. Rabbit and Dogbone. Both of them died. <laughs> Both of them died. It's mental. Even the Muffalo makes the sounds of... <laughs> like robot cries or something. No, the potato plant finally died. Because <laughs> of the cold. <laughs> no, potato blend. That's minus 16 outside. Is it, is it warm enough inside? 19 degrees? I'd sleep in 19 degrees. Hell yeah. It's minus 2 in here. We don't have a heater in here though. Just like run really fast when you're crossing this place. So you don't get cold. 
Here we go. Ash has brought back our friend, little Dogbone. <laughs> Dogbone. Okay. Transport pod crash. An Aerofleet engineer named Vic crashed. If he survives the impact, he'll be badly wounded. He's not affiliated with any faction. <laughs> Smoke leaf dependence. Can we just capture him? Yeah, we can do it now. Godroid 100%. Okay. Decent barrack? I slept in a decent barrack, but I really dislike sleeping a sleeping space. Sharing a sleeping space? Why does it dislike sharing a sleeping space to machines? Oh, maybe because yeah, because he's like a god bot or something. Is he good first? I don't want to grab someone. Animals. It's great with animals. <laughs> Another animals guy. Crafting's great too. Construction. Okay. The rest of them. When the machines crash, they don't um, crash with pain shock. So we've got to do this. <laughs> it's so funny. They just pick them up like, oh, no, no. Come on this way. Back to bed. Come on. The emitter has changed its wave patterns now. Psychotron affecting colonists of the female gender. Wow, and as if Kitty didn't have it hard enough as it is. <laughs> she is fake. She's so scared. Oh my god. On Sveta too? Wow, we need to take out that drone. That <laughs> needs to go. Okay, I don't have medical beds. I thought I did, but I don't. I've got to just do it the old fashioned way. Oh, soup cooking. Basic electronics. A sweet TV. Electronics seems on brand for us. Yeah. So at the moment, I've just got to make normal beds, medical beds. Oh my god, they're poor. That one's poor. <laughs> and then if I get some medical style uh, furniture. I can hook them up with that. We don't even have bedrooms here. We've got more beds for prisoners and then we're making more beds for people that are wounded but I don't have beds for colonists. Maybe I'm doing it the wrong way around. I don't know guys. 